We are Gavin and Emily. We're a little unhinged right now. <laughs> And this week on the bus, we gave our plywood a makeover. So yeah, we are painting the interior of our bus today. Of course, we ran into some bumps along the way. The day of reckoning has come. Thankfully, we had family here to help. Woo! <laughs> we'll get to all the painting soon, but first, let's get some plumbing done. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our countertop off. Since we never actually screwed it in or anything, we just have it kind of wedged in on top. Because it looks cute. Because it looks great and it's functional, but we knew this was coming. So now we can pull it out and we'll have easy access to everything that's underneath it. Now that our kitchen is back to bare bones, we can run our water line and our propane line for our sink, our shower, our oven, our water heater. Um, so the sink and shower are obviously part of the plumbing system. The oven and the water heater are part of our propane system. I think we're going to start with water lines because that's a little less scary and can't explode if you do it wrong. So let's plumb our sink and our shower. Our plumbing basically goes in a straight line from our water tank and then it's going to run through the back of these cabinets to our sink and then it will tee off to the sink and go right into the shower and then our shower faucet, shower head, will go on this wall as, long, as well as our valve. So it's pretty basic, straight line. So this is our sink area, I'm just putting some T's on the ends of these where they'll come in from here, they'll go up to our sink, and then the lines will continue on to where the shower is. Um, we're still using shark bite connectors like we were when we started the other plumbing area. Check out that video if you want to see the back end with the filters and the pumps and everything, but here we're just on to getting to the hardware, so I'm just gonna shove these onto their lines and and we don't have our sink faucet yet. It's supposed to come later this week, I think, so we'll hook that up later. We're just gonna keep running the lines to the shower for now. All right, so we have our fittings on both sides of our shower temperature adjuster and so we have that lined up it'll stick out basically flush with the front of our tile when we finish up this wall so i have my holes drilled for that now i just need to run these to the elbows and they'll go straight up through there where they'll connect to this painting the bus. Let's go. Woo! Today we're painting the bus. Woo! So yeah, we are painting the interior of our bus today. We have some beautiful colors picked out and we've got some great helpers here. My mom, say hi mom. Hi. And my brother Colin. Hi. Here to sand and help us paint. We're starting with the cabinet doors and stuff outside first. Gavin's finishing up a few construction projects so that we can be ready to paint them once he's done. Vanished over here so I don't get dust all over everyone. Yeah, and I'm inside the bus sanding, so let paint day commence. Hey paint boys, how's it going? Painty. It looks like a frittata in here. It feels like a frittata. It smells like one too. <laughs> All right, 
it's getting pretty late in the afternoon and it is time for us to take a break. I think we're done for the day. The bedroom area is all done and looking great. The lower cabinets are painted. The drawers and doors are all painted. We're obviously not done everywhere though, um, but we have been working hard in the hot sun, so it's time for a break. Day two of painting, my mom and Colin were gone. They were a huge, huge help and we are almost done, but we are on our own now. So Gavin is working on finishing the upper cabinets in the front of the bus. And then we just need to do the upper cabinets in the kitchen and do a second coat on a couple things. So time to finish up. Almost, almost looks good. There's still all these gaps that we need to hang the doors in. So let's get hinged. Let's get hinged. We're a little unhinged right now. <laughs> You guys watched us build pretty much everything in here. Do you remember every time we said, oh, the closet leans a little bit. Oh, that's a little crooked. That'll be fine. We'll hide it with this. We'll hide it with that. The day of reckoning has come. Our closet doors aren't straight. This is, this is the issue. This is it closed. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Close my door. Nope. <laughs> So, I mean, the whole closet leans kind of that way or this way, and so the top edge and the bottom edge don't really line up, but... We're gonna try to put, like, those, like, push-to-close magnet things to lock them closed anyways when we're driving, so I think that will help. I mean, if you push it in, it closes. Beautiful and flush. It just, the wood is all a little warped, and it's definitely not square, so... If you don't push it in, that's what happens. So I think the magnets will help. We'll see. For now, it just looks weird. For now, it looks like a homemade house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> it's charming. <laughs> it's rusty. It's charming. Looking good. That's house. your closet. Where are my socks? the magnet latches on these doors and they look a lot better this is them closed now <laughs> they actually sit flush to each other obviously it's a little warped but that's okay and the latches are pretty strong so we're pretty sure that they will hold when we're driving but yeah we'll have knobs and everything and it'll be great um, we still have one more drawer to install, but it is all painted, but that big hole is going to be a drawer. And other than that, this is our bus painted. We put in the countertops for you guys so you can see how pretty they are. Spoiler, there's going to be a sink there. <laughs> That's it. With our house all painted and the plumbing run to the shower, we are very close to hitting the road. Um, what's next? Yeah, next week we're gonna show you guys how we hook up our propane, our gas lines. So we're gonna be hooking up our water heater and our oven stove. So we'll be able to bake some cookies for you when you come over. <laughs> <laughs> Not very many, like six at a time maybe. Yeah, but that's enough. <laughs> hopefully that all works out and we don't explode. So subscribe, 
And hopefully you'll see the bus here next week. Yeah. Bye. Love, Love you. you. <laughs>